the first time for us to talk to you. I guess what 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 about Indiana? You know, drew you in. I mean, what did you like? What you heard from Coach Allen and Coach Bell, and, and you know the, what their uh, vision was for the offense that made you want to come here. Yeah, I think the biggest thing was just you know on my visit here, I was just the I felt Coach Allen his his honesty. Um, he was very genuine about everything. Um, it's, it's kind of similar to what what uh, drew me to, to Missouri in the first place with with Coach Odom there. Um, just super genuine, super honest about everything. Um, I could tell that it, it was a good place to be at. Um, you know, a, a loving work experience, um, all that. So it's kind of what drew me there. And then Coach Bell, um, you know, he. He called me every single day when he was recruiting me, texted me every day. Um, you know, we started, he started teaching me the offense before I even visited, committed, signed anywhere. Um, that's, how, uh, that's how much he wanted me. So um, I could tell that he wanted me and the whole coaching staff reached out and uh, I just felt, felt like the place to be, so. Yeah, I think uh, number one, it's going to allow the offense and myself to play fast. Uh, you know, we're going to we're going to be up tempo, play fast, and um, we're going to throw the ball down the field uh, when we, when we need to, and we're going to run the ball, RPOs. We, uh, got a lot of different stuff that we do, and it's really just like I said, going to allow me to play fast, um, not allow the defense to get in a, a bunch of different exotic blitzes and coverages and um, just kind of simplify the game. Hey, Connor, Keegan Nixon with the Rivals. How have um, you and some of the skill players like Henry Simmons among other wide receivers, how have you guys kind of meshed? And what's that day-to-day process like? Yeah, it's been great with um, you know the other transfers that came in, the skill guys, and then also you know the skill guys that were already here, and you know I've been here for, you know whether they're freshmen or, you know six year seniors, um, you know it, obviously it is uh, difficult to come in and like try to you're not going to demand respect from day one as as I guess the new guy, um, but you know you just got to build relationships with them and you know talk to guys and go th- you know text them hey you want to go throw uh, so. Uh, just whenever. Um, I know Emery, um, the first couple of weeks, texted me you know, on like a Sunday and asked if I wanted to go throw and uh, just little stuff like that to, <clears throat> to build relationships with those guys. And, um, you know, that pays off in, in, the, in the future. Mike and Zach. Yeah, I think Connor, Mike with the Daily Hoosier. Um, Coach just talked earlier about the, you know, whoever wins the quarterback job, they have to Yeah, I think I think there is a little bit of a challenge to it, but um, I think I think just with repetition and practice and getting to know the guys, like I said, building relationships with you know off- offensive linemen, uh, receivers, tight ends, running backs, the whole the whole crew, um, and then also you know getting to know the defensive guys because you know, offense and defense kind of have to work work off of each other. So um, it's definitely definitely. One thing that I've focused on is just trying to, trying to get to know that, trying to get to know everyone on the team, uh, build relationships with them, and um, kind of win their trust over just, just uh, from my hard work and dedication to to workouts and walkthroughs and, um, you know, my focus, knowing the plays, knowing the offense, and all of that. Have that you have a lot of the experience, you know, when, like when a, a 
receiver says, do you want to go throw? You know what that process is like. You know how to set that up. You know, you know that that sort of stuff is just kind of second nature. What's different about maybe being the new guy when it's not all new to you? It's just sort of this setting, this team, these teammates. Yeah, I think, I mean, it. everything is, you know, workouts are workouts. Everybody's doing workouts in the country. That's not nothing new. Everyone's got walkthroughs and um, meetings and everyone's got a bunch of new coaches and learning new offenses, new defense. I mean, that's probably about half of the whole country is doing that type of stuff. So, um, you know, that's not really new. Uh, I think the biggest thing, which I've kind of talked about, is just what, like getting, getting to know the players. I mean, that's such a big part of um, being a good team is, you know, m the players meshing well together and uh, building true true relationships that are, that that uh, you can trust on each other and you love each other. So um, it takes time. Obviously, you can't do that in you know two months, one and a half months that I've been here. So it's what I'm working on. Um, we're building up, building that up, and I'm sure that'll um, enhance kind of in spring ball once once you start practicing and competing with each other. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think <clears throat> I think just um, really getting a grasp, getting a grasp of the offense, uh, for sure. Just kind of getting that getting that down, um, getting in the film room, watching watching practice over and over. Uh, you know, getting getting with Coach Bell, um, kind of starting to see how he coaches. Um, you know, the different things he likes, how he likes certain read. Um, stuff like that, just kind of learning the, the little details of how the coaches coach and then also just how the players play. I mean, I haven't, you know, I haven't seen the receivers or tight ends, uh, you know, go one on one against the defensive back yet. So just kind of learning that timing, getting that timing down against how they, you know, how they cut against a, you know, press man receiver or a press man corner. Um, you know, how they release and, and get by them, just kind of learning little things like that. And and also just, you know, continuing to work on my mechanics and my accuracy. Um, you know, like I said, we're going to throw the ball down the field a lot. So, uh, you know, tr try to be really efficient throwing the ball down the field, throwing deep balls, um, all, of that all of that type of stuff. Yeah, Connor, just want to ask you about the kind of the personal side of your transfer. You know, what, is, what has it been like? Yeah, it's been it's been great. Obviously, I think I committed here uh, only like five days, four days before class started. So that was a crazy transition to get all my stuff moved from Missouri to Indiana in one weekend. Um, so that was crazy. Had to find a place to move to. Um, but you know, I, I love it here. I love the campus. Um, it's, I, I would say it's a little kind of similar to Columbia, Missouri. And so I think it's a little bigger, the, the campus, um, more spread out. So it's been difficult to kind of, you know, I think anywhere you go that's new, it takes some time to f find out where places are, find out where your classes are. Um, but there's a lot of support around me uh, to help me through that type of stuff. And um, no, I love it here. It's, it's great. All the, all the people are great. Um, I haven't had any issues. Um, been to some good restaurants. <laughs> My favorite one? Oh, man. Me and my girlfriend, we went to the Mexican place called uh, Viva Mas, I think it was called. It's pretty good. I think it's over by the mall, so... Just try it out. <laughs> Thank you, guys.